Hello and welcome to episode one of XCOM Enemy Within Sponge Squad. I'm gonna play on Classic first of all, and I'm gonna go for Iron Man, because Classic Iron Man is the only way to go. And in terms of second wave, I'm just gonna go with training roulettes and new economy this time, just to mix it up slightly, because in the past I've, I've messed around with damage roulette and a bunch of stuff, but it kind of ends up that um, it kind of messes with your understanding of the game quite a lot, and I can't do it. <laughs> to be blunt, it means I mess up on stuff, when I haven't played enough of Enemy Within to completely have around my head around all the new stuff, so I don't want to trip myself up with stuff like aiming angles. I've played with it a bit, but it really messes me up. What a beautiful world it is! Ah, and I'm not playing on 360. I'm playing with a 360 pad, but I'm playing on PC, which means no horrible pop-in. Hooray! And I'm going to go for South America, because I'm sort of obsessed with We Have Ways, even though I know it's not the best. Um, I know it's not the best, but I like it. And also, on the Xbox, I finished this game like three or four times, and this is the one... It was the one nation I never did it with, was South America. Nation. You know what I mean. Uh, Landmass. Place on a map. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Don't take any chances, okay. No chances, mate. Fucking chances. Fucking... I can't believe these fucking chances. Now, these guys obviously don't matter too much because they don't have names. But, um... Still, hopefully they won't get murdered. I've forgotten how good the uh I've forgotten how good the audio is in this, just the music, the kind of creepiness. It's a great soundtrack. Probably one of the best in recent years. Let's, do this. Let's try and play it safe. Obviously, those of you who remember, it's a real shame I never got to finish my um, my squad of people when I was at Video Gamer. I had a kind of game on the go, but for various reasons, I just didn't get a chance to finish it off. To be honest, though, I think I was really boned. <laughs> the game I was doing was going really badly, obviously. Uh, Charlie Pancakes had died. A horrible, horrible time with Charlie Pancakes. I'd really rather not talk about it, to be honest, but, uh, you know... It's difficult times. Oh boy! It's an aliens! Come on, Hernandez. No! Right. Let's begin this flank properly. Oh, that's not... Good. That's very not good. Hopefully, because sectoids are pansies, they're gonna. Sorry, that clink. If you heard it, was me. <laughs> me panicking and putting my cup of tea down because I was like, "This feels like the perfect time for a nice cup of tea." Oh no, it's not. Um. Now I could. Hmm. I'm concerned if I stand here, then I'm not going to be able to see this dude. But I'm concerned that if I blow up this car, this van, it's... Mm. Yeah, I'm not feeling too good about this. <laughs> Already. Okay, I can go here. I can take a shot at this dude. Oh, I could have done with an extra point there, please, Bob. I always hate the way that, uh... 
Sectoid buff. Gives them plus one health. Doesn't just raise their max health, it gives them plus one. Right, okay. Please run away. Yeah, good, thank you. But still fire, great. Well, if you're panicked, shoot someone, shoot someone. Yeah, come on. Oh, fudge stickles. Fudge stickles. Oh, this is going very badly indeed. I can't remember what happens when you get a wipe in your first mission. I think you have to restart it. Well, at least that alien is... equally shit. Um... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, well this guy can... What's the grenade range like? I'm trying to work out if, I, if there's any way I can get a grenade over to those. Yeah, I reckon I could do that. Because they, they're linked to two of the dudes. If I can... He's on Overwatch, but I'm hoping he won't be able to see... Yeah, no, he won't. Cool. Can I get all three of them? That's the kind of... Crazy. Can I get the ring? Just right. Just right, please. Come on, just, just a bit more. We'll see. I think that's all three of them. Incoming. I told myself I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> because it is worth not murdering them all with explosions. But, uh, yeah, I don't think this is going terribly well, so... If it's going badly, explosions. Come back to you in a minute, mate. Ah, oh, it's just you two, isn't it? Great. Hmm. I am tempted just because this might be the last. Let's get the mail just in case. I must admit, every time I've played this game, I've managed to like fuck up and not really get the meld. This is a bad idea. This looks like a really bad idea, actually. I'm not. Oh, but somebody might die. Oh, hello, XCOM. <laughs> I kind of have forgotten what XCOM was about. And now I'm here already in XCOM doing an XCOM. Do I risk? Because if this is the last alien, now it's the first mission, six sectoids isn't an insane prospect. That's like, that sounds about right. I'm sort of saying this out loud now because I don't quite trust myself. But I'm thinking, even though, if, if this is the last sectoid, then it's mission achieved, game over, go home. Good job. If it, if it is the last sectoid, if it isn't the last sectoid, oh sod it, let's just do this. Please be the last sectoid, and everyone can go home. Come on. Yes! Oh boy! Right, let's go home, boys. Everybody go home. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, I'll be at the research labs in a minute, and I'm going to skip your cutscenes. I mean, look at that. He almost died. I mean, he did get a promotion. Well done, but gravely wounded. We have a sniper. And we have a heavy. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get. Skip a de do da, skip a de day. Right. So, oh, I've got to do all these bloody cutscenes, haven't I? I think I've got to do that now. First of all, let's. Do some names. So, Hernandez, you say? <laughs> I think it's time. Hernandez, five kills. I think it's time we have a we have a bit of a situation here. I think it's time for you, Hernandez, to become Nigella. Pancakes, long lost sister. 
of Charlie Pancakes. Oh, yeah. But of course, you don't get any special armor because you're only a squaddy. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. And, uh, oh, hello, sir. You look, uh, uh, you look remarkably like, uh, Kit Kat Chunky! Oh, yes! That's right. It's not, I mean, thing is, I've kind of confused you now by making one of the people a, uh, a, a relative of somebody who's died in the past, but Kit Kat Chunky is, uh, he's kind of continually canon. He's continually canon. It's, uh, he's, he's in all of the, all of the worlds. It's a bit like, uh, Bioshock Infinite, you know, there's always a, a lighthouse, and there's always a Kit Kat Chunky, and, uh, it's always better than Bioshock Infinite, because that was a bit bollocks. And this guy is called Polo. Uh, Polo Diastra, which is a kind of pizza you can get from Pizza Express or Pizza Express Pizzas in the supermarket. And it makes me laugh because it means chicken to the stars. So that's you, mate. And uh, finally, who are we going to go for? Um... What are you going to be called? Uh, Trent. Um, Josnob. Trent Josnob. He's uh, not, not related to Trent Reznor, the singer from the very good band um, uh, Nine Inch Nails. That'll do for now. Wow, look at that. I know it's actually finally gravely wounded. Oh, good lord. All right, let's give you a name then. Just because you got gravely wounded. All right, I'm going to call you Grave McDave. Because, you know, first man to be gravely wounded, you're going to get the piss taken out of you in the playground for that, frankly, mate. And Landon Mason. Nah, Landon Dandon, mate. Landon Dandon. Landon Dandon, reporting for duty. Yeah, and he's going to be French. Sweet. Cool. I think that's about it then, right? That's XCOM finished. What game shall I play next? I'm only joking. Let's do a, um, let's do a mission control. Oh. No, no, I'm not making this mistake. I remember I've got a there's specific things you have to do. So, oh, it's been a while since I played this. Engineering satellites, because satellites cost they take twenty days. Let's build one. Because I'm pretty sure you get. Yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. I think you get one to begin with anyway, don't you? Who am I asking? You're not here. Satellite uplink. Ah, oh, Jesus. I wish I remembered how to do things. And the steam's all the way over there. That's not good. Maybe I cancel it. Maybe. It... Do I go for a thermo? Or do I not bother? I think I'm just going to go for straight up power generators. Because otherwise it's going to take me forever to get over there. And I want to get some more satellite uplinks. Because satellites. Oh, satellites. Satellites are how you win the game. Okay, well, I'm not going to reason people to do anything else. So let's just do a little scan. Come on, let's, let's do it. Oh. Well, that was unexpected. I've built some power station. Carry on. Speed. There we are. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Hmm. Difficult, easy, or moderate. I seem to recall you should always go for engineers, but that's quite a lot of money. Yeah. I forgot to research anything as well. All that time, we had like five days. I could have researched something. Oh, this is not good. Um, engineers, always engineers. You know this. You know this, Lee's. We've got Josnob, Pancakes, Chunky, and Diastra. Let's do this. Mission Control. This is Mr. Sponge, sending in some of my best boys to do an assault on the aliens. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Check out Jos Nob's uh, 
That sideburns there, fantastic. Operation Burning Father is go. Let's set this daddy on fire! Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Ah, decisions, decisions, decisions. Do I flank around the edge of the map or do I go in? Well, there's a meld thing. Mm. One of the things I haven't got my head around yet with this expansion. I assume it's because you can actually use the mechs as kind of a... as basically cover. But there are quite a few maps where you just don't have any bloody... You just don't have like a lot of solid cover. Because in the original maps it was always possible to kind of move your way across the map without having to rely too much on half cover. Whereas this... It's very much kind of like, yeah, deal with it. Deal with it. Nigella Pancakes has got a rocket launcher, so I don't fuck with her. Okay. I didn't want that to happen, really, but we'll see. It could be worse. They are a long way away. Come on, Josh. Not. No chance. You've really accurately put all of those bullets in that wall. So that's there's that, I suppose, isn't there? Okay. I like the way you can cheat with this. You can be like, where's the line going? It's going there. Is there anything I can do about that? I don't think so. Heading to that location. That's not good, actually. That's not good. Hang on a minute, I think that's another... Oh, fuck sticks. That's another whole bunch. That's kind of good though, because it means as long as I don't... As long as I don't move too close to them, they'll be activated by themselves on their turn, which means... Good things, basically. Alright. Come on, Chunky. Come on. Yes. I'm happy with that. Come on. Yes. Okay. No. Right. That was a bit glitchy, wasn't it? But it's fine. Whatever. I'm tempted to just get Nigella to blow the shit out of your building. Oh. Shut your mouth, Dr. Valen. That wasn't my fault. I didn't shoot it. They shot it. You need to get a better understanding of causality. Okay. So. I wish I'd moved him forward. You know, I think... Ah, oh, I can't decide what to do here. 47% chance is quite good. It's not... Well, it's not good, actually. It's pretty bad, but... It's quite good considering... Considering these guys are all basically complete nubs. 45... Oh, come on now, Kit Catty, Kit Catty. 
Kits after cats after kits after cats. He waits. That's what he does. <laughs> Right, right. This is the standard procedure, I believe. Um, <laughs> is try and hit them with normal stuff first, and if that fails, blow the shit out of them with rockets. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Yeah. Sorry, buddy, but I blew up your alien friend. Come on, time for some heroics. Chicken to the stars! My oh dear. Oh no! No! Oh, Nigella pancakes. For f f oh. Well, at least she'll be remembered for her fantastic ability to use rockets. Without much, without any fear of the consequences. She at least will be remembered for that. I'm now wondering if it's wise just to. Yeah. Screw it. Not risking any more casualties. This isn't, isn't a good practice to get involved in, but. Uh, Oh, I should have killed that guy. I should have killed that guy. I mean, I'm aware that might strike you as a sort of fairly obvious platitude, but, um... Is that even a platitude? I don't even really know what that word means. Alien object in sight. I'm ready. I'm so annoyed that that guy got the kill. I say got the kill. I mean killed Nigella. Pancake family. I mean, to be fair, I, I guess maybe I expected too much. You know, obviously Charlie Pancakes was a was an incredibly talented soldier, but uh, just because they were related, I guess, doesn't mean that necessarily they're going to have the same sort of skills. And in fact, maybe they weren't even related. Maybe they just had the same... Family name, maybe in this, in the XCOM universe, the pancake name is as common as, as Smith, or Jacobs. I can do that class thing of running in and running out. Yeah, pretty much. Come on, Chunky. That's a good percentage. I'm taking that. Take the shot, Chunky. Oh, flip stocks. Is that cover? I don't think it is. Let's see what you can see from here. Lovely. Oh. Not that lovely. Come on, come on. Okay. Not. Oh, I had this dude here all along. Come on, Josnob. You got him flanked. And it's still only 66%. Oh, what the fuck? Please run away. Please run away, because you're inexplicably scared of me. No, you're not going to run away. Oh. I couldn't deal with it if Trent Ros... Uh, Jaws Knob died as well. Okay, right. This is time for some... Uh, super extreme pro bravery. Is that the right line? Is that going to be... 
Ah, oh, am I going to be able to do this from here? Guess we'll find out. Yes. Come on, 65. Yeah. Come on, that's got to be it. It's got to be it. Mission accomplished. Well, according to this, that's good. I didn't get either of the canisters, but I did only lose one. But I guess the problem is the statistics in this game don't really account for uh, emotional attachment. Commander Nigella Pancakes. Commander to the situation. Nigella Pancakes. K.I.A. Ah, did, 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 did me. However, we have got a promotion for Kit Kat. We've got a promotion for this guy, Polo Diastra, and Trent Josnell. Got a couple of assaults, at least. And, uh, oh, a nice medal. And two medals. Two medals. It's a shame you can't put medals on corpses. Well, of course you can, actually, but, uh, it's not terribly useful for morale. Um, hmm. We will be in touch. Okay, let's go to some researching. I can't believe I missed six days of research. I could have almost researched one of these fucking things. Let's get. Thank you very much, Doctor Valen. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Pretty sure she says that it's the most pressing research thing we could do, no matter what you do, which is uh, slightly uh, spoils the magic, doesn't it? Um, I've got satellites on the way. I've got one satellite already, and I've got another one on the way. Okay, how many? So now I need more satellites, more... Oh. Oh, can I build it? No, I haven't got any money. Oh, can I set? Oh, I don't think I've got anything, have I? I've got some corpses. Let's sell some corpses. What could possibly go wrong? Let's sell some corpses on the black market for fun. I've been selling corpses on the black market today. What could possibly, possibly go wrong? With that, hey, hey. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really shit song. Oh, you know me though, I do like my shit songs. And that is it for episode one of the XCOM Sponge Squad. What will happen in episode two? Will there be another member of the Pancake family appearing for duty? Maybe, I suppose that could happen. Will there be some more people dying? Possibly. Will... Kit Kat Chunky die? No. No, Kit Kat Chunky can't die. That would be a horrendous, horrendous thing to happen. And, uh, ooh, yes. Come and join us again next time for XCOM Spurn Squad. Thank you very much. Bye! <laughs>